Let's start on crime and security. Four Nigerian nationals have been arrested by the easily gone police at Trazako, phase two, for what eyewitnesses describe as an attempted murder of a Ghanaian house help. The victim, who was chained and beaten to pulp, had a scarred face with bruised face, as well as blood oozing from his mouth and face. Well, joining us, Latif Idris was at the charge scene and reports the agitated Ghanaian youth almost unleashed mob justice on the four arrested Nigerians. We are told our Nigerian nationals, four of them, and this is one of the four vehicles that have been vandalized by the irate youth of this area who got agitated as a result of the failure by the occupants of this uh, apartment to open the gate for them to go inside and rescue the man who was crying for help. Now the police just came in to tow the, one of the vehicles, which is the last of the four, away. But the residents say, had it not been the intervention, we could have had a cold blood murder on our hands Tuesday morning. My last day in the end, no. Or can I brought for? So man goes to grand me the last day. My last day in the end, no. My last day in the end, no. Mumbe buami, mumbe buami, mumbe buami. I'm talking. Let me catch my brand. Say, ah, Obi, cast out down with me. Say we need help. I see that be. The young queen, queen, I gonna do this. I'm going to share. Obi, I'm going to see that be young queen. I'm going to buy one. Me buy a gate. I'm going to be pay by a body guy, tall guy, wash a single black. On the gate, or should be me for so be a gate in order. A bottle. But no woman's animal meaning here. Not a bottle warm. So far, gate in the entrance now. Said Diana, I may pay or mugate him. I may have one, I may pay or mugate, Mamma Sidabi. Or be so in your help. God saw like a Mosapa Pro Team car, a chem. And I'm in the brothers, I was dimly required a rush a car. I say, Oh. On the way, busy was sent to police station. Yeah, then, yeah, I'm caught. Okay. And I got no way inside. I said, "Oh, my boy, my quick fingerprint. You know, I'm saying, 'Yami, I'm so maybe we're not doing. Many men we are back home, Trazako. I'm sitting there. We get to a name, be it here, area, area. Are you betting a dead body be the higher? I'm back at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then there was a gateway, a beer. ギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギギ
urged the electorate to ask for data correction when needed. He explains the exhibition is also aimed at cleaning the voters' register by taking out names of unqualified persons, including minors, non-citizens, as well as deceased voters. The commission will display the voters' register at all polling stations across the country from Tuesday the 10th of September to Tuesday the 17th of September 2019 for public inspection from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. each day, including Saturday and Sunday. All the 30,702 polling stations in the country will be designated as exhibition centers. The register to be displayed was compiled since the compilation of the biometric voter registration in 2012. Purpose of the exhibition exercise. Basically, the exhibition exercise is to allow for prospective voters verify their details, such as name, age, sex, etc., and to be sure they were properly captured during the registration exercise and make requests for amendments or insertions where necessary. Additionally, any person who is eligible to register as a voter may raise objections to names of unqualified persons in the voters' register at the center. In other words, if you suspect that someone's name is in the register but the person is not supposed to be there, you are allowed to raise an objection. Requests that can be made at the exhibition centers are inclusion of omitted names. This is for a prospective voter whose application for registration was accepted and was issued with a voter ID card, but whose particulars are completely missing from the following. Provisional voters register, that is 2016, 2018, and 2019. Exclusion or exceptions list. Then finally, multiple registration list. Objection to names of unqualified voters on the register. Any person entitled to be registered as a voter they object to the inclusion of names of persons on the provisional voters register if he or she believes that they are unqualified to be registered as voters. The, the voter may be unqualified if he or she is not a Ghanaian, not at least 18 years of age at the time of registration, not a resident or ordinary resident in any locality or barred by law. Removal of names of deceased voters from the register relatives, community leaders, and any qualified voter may visit the exhibition center with information on diseased persons or persons who are dead to have their particulars removed from the register. The exhibition officers will do, a background, will do background checks on such objections to help facilitate such removal as the register is for the living. Now let's take you to the Upper West region. Now, though she was trained as an electric engineer and later as a human resource officer, she quit her more comfortable job, air-conditioned and, and well-suited-wearing job at a local telecommunication company and ventured into farming. Her company apparently now employs over 200 people at her farms. That is the story of Chief Executive Officer of our Woolfield Limited, Joy Okra who has taken advantage of government's planting for food and jobs program in the Upper West region and making life better for the people. Our well, joining News Upper West Regional Correspondent Rafik Salam visited one of her farms at Fiang in the Dafiama Busie Isa district and brings us this amazing story. Our Fields Limited is an agribusiness company that is into the production of crop, processing, seed supply and input support marketing and training to rural smallholder farmers in order to impact society and create employment. They started operations in three districts of the Upper West region, namely Nandom, Nodulu Keleu, and the famous Bure Isa districts last December and has since cultivated over 900 acres of soybean and sogum. Here at Fieng, located in the Dafima Bure Isa district, they have cultivated 398 acres of soybean and 20 acres of sogum. Joy Okra, a chief executive officer. A long 
through my interaction with some of the farmers, I realized that they need help in these areas, tractor services, seed and fertilizer. A lot of them want to go into farming, but most of them cannot afford these inputs. So then I decided to form groups out of the farmers then to be able to support them with these inputs. And also, it didn't end there. We have to, because if they produce and there's no market, it will discourage them. So I have to take another step to provide market for them. Joy Okra, who holds diploma in electric engineering and degree in human resource development at the Sinyoye Polytechnic and Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration, respectively, quit her job at a local telecommunication company as human resource officer and ventured into farming. Her company now employs 205 workers at the farms comprising 191 males and 14 females. And since we introduced this, a lot of them come to the farm to work because when they come, there's job, they, they get job to work. So some of them choose to work instead of going for the other activities that will not help them. And uh, some of the SS graduates who yeah, have been able to raise money to able to help them to continue their education. Apart from employing a large chunk of the youth in the area, they have also been able to support smallholder farmers with inputs. District Chief Executive for the Fiamma Bure Isa Nadi Moro Sanda is one of them. I didn't pay for tractor services, I didn't pay for the seed, I didn't pay for the fertilizer. And they employ people to even apply the fertilizer, and we just pay for the application, the job done. The company has also received tremendous support from the Dafima Bure Isa District Agri Office. We have assigned an agri extension officer basically for the our fields and hair outgrowers, and that has increased the farmer extension contacts. The Haraba will have wish that they have a dam to enable them to do all year round farming. Only one season. <laughs> when it comes and go, or when you mix it, that's it. So if we have irrigation, it will help us to go a long way. Upper West Virginia Minister, Dr. Hafiz Bin Sali, who was on tour of the farm, was not only impressed with what he saw, but pledged the commitment of the government to supporting them. We are constructing 10 dams in this district for now. But with this potential, many more will be constructed in the years ahead. So if we go around and we see that the construction of a dam would facilitate the production of what they are doing now, who knows, we can decide to site one of the dams here. So I am highly impressed and if the opportunity avails itself, I will recommend this area. Reporting for Joy News, Rafik Salam, Fiang. Oh, that great story from Fiang, I believe, uh, is also a mark that also shows that farming and agriculture in general could be the way to go. Well, kudos to government for the Planting for Food and Jobs program, but we'll bring you more updates on that initiative or policy intervention. But um, we'll also take you um, to the Upper East region where in many Ghanaian societies, household chores like cooking and cleaning are often described to be the roles of women. Well, therefore, a man uh, may expect his wife to do the cooking, for example, and cleaning at home, even if the woman is burdened with other chores or work than he, the man, is. So to help change this outmoded mindset and perception and also encourage men to be more supportive in the home for women, the Widows and Orphans Movement, uh, a charity or an NGO, has organized cooking competition for selected assembly men in the Bongo and Kasina Nankana West District of the Upper East Region. And let me tell you, uh, our own colleague, uh, Albert Sorry, was there to find out what the men learned. In the Bongo District, the assembly men for Yedongo, Apelinga, Asaloko, Fio, Zoko, and Aberingabisi communities slagged it out in a contest to determine not only who amongst them could prepare the tastiest and most nutritious meal, but also who was able to keep a very clean kitchen space while doing the cooking. Ingredient by ingredient, 
they prepared some of the Upper East region's most regular meals, tuozafi or teaset with okra soup and dawadawa jollof rice. Judges then inspected their kitchen spaces and tasted their meals to determine who did the best job. The assemblyman for Apelinga, Seidu Musa, emerged the winner of the cooking competition. My wife also has a resident. Some time ago, I normally used to be there helping her to cook, even to even sell if there is crowd on her. I'm very happy for this uh, uh, competition that we have done, especially we, the men here. You see, if it is rain season like this, we normally go with our wife the same time and farm and do all of things. But if you come home, we are now relaxing or we are just going out playing wari or dam and the woman will go back again to start cooking, make sure all the family will eat. So I think it's advisable that so far we have gone together at the farming. If we come back, we have to also help them. So we cook together and eat together. So I the assemblymen for Aberingabisi and few emerged in second and third place respectively. They say cooking or household chores in general should not be seen as a preserve for the women. When you want to look at we, the rural folks, we have the belief that as a man, you are not supposed to take part in uh, household activities, particularly helping our wives, our mothers. That is not so. It is nice we also help our mothers, our wives in the kitchen so that uh, they can at least reduce their activities in the house. Things have changed and we have to help the women. So this program, it is not going to end here. We, the assembly members, we have to take it back to our various community, try to organize programs, sensitize our colleague men that household activities is not meant for women alone. The cooking competition was also taken to Kayoro in the Kasna Nankana West District, where the assemblymen from Anio, Akania, Nakong Saboro, Kayoro Saboro, Chania Nankas, and Adungu contested for who would be the best cook. The assemblyman for Anio, Johnson Pualua, emerged the winner. You know, our locality. In the previous years, they think that man work is only farming. You don't have to support your mom. You don't have even to go near in kitchen. So any time, they always drive with the men out of kitchen. But the world made us understand that it is not like that. So that is why I support my mom and I became today out of this program and I'm the first person. Water Aid Ghana and Partners, the Widows and Orphans Movement, have been implementing a water, sanitation and hygiene for public health project in the Bongo and Kasna Nankana West districts. The cooking competitions were organized as a way to encourage men in these areas to support the women in their households. A measure Fatih Abigail Abdullahi executive director for the widows and orphans movement believes will go a long way to help the communities achieve sanitation targets the widows and orphans movement with uh, water aid ghana with support from global affairs canada have been working on gender equality on unpaid care work basically we have sought to look at the connection between the burden of care work on most women vis-a-vis -vis they being able to support us meet our hygiene and sanitation targets. We are hoping that this visual awareness creation approach will, will enable more communities to be responsive, especially the males and the, uh, and the boys, to be responsive in terms of supporting in care work at the household level. If the excitement the cooking competitions generated amongst the men and women in the two districts was anything to go by, then the objective for organizing the competitions is as good as half met. Albert Sorry, Joy News, Kayoro, Kasana Nankana West District.
Well, good cooking skills exhibited out there. It's a, a sad uh, times for me, many periods that I don't know how to cook. I guess I need to learn from uh, one of uh, the best uh, people around my house, the woman of the house, cooking. <laughs> well, we have to take a break. When we come back, we'll look at what stories are front back pages of the various newspapers. We also will look at the center spreads of... Um, the newspapers we have in the studio. But uh, look, I would want to say very good morning to a very good friend of mine, the head of pharmacy, the Presbyterian Hospital, Boko, has been a while, and uh, Sally for Combat. A good morning to you as well as to the rest of your family, especially also to your wife who works with the Ghana Immigration uh, Service posted to the Missiga border and, and Flora uh, Binlo. A good morning to you as well. I hope that you all have a fabulous day.